Hey, what's going on, guys? It's me, Mike, and you might have saw the screenshot I posted on Facebook. Um, this is the Launcher 7 launcher for Android, and pretty much it's a whole overall Windows 7 experience on your Android device. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you the CMYK colors. The magenta doesn't look too magenta y on this camera, but you know, magenta, yellow, black, CMYK. There's a video widget and the music widget, and if I click over here, here is my app drawer. Windows 7 style. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and not click that application. Okay, go back out. Alright, so I'm gonna go give you a review and how to on this uh, application launcher as quick as possible without leaving out any information. So first off first off you have um a tiles with the Windows 7 launcher you have tiles and Basically, you, if you hold on, just like you do in a normal app, you hold on to it. You can move it around if you want. So if you want something to be on this side, you can put it right there. It's not letting me do it right now. There we go. So if you want it to leave it right there, touch. And then, as you can see, you switch tiles. Now, what's cool is that you can switch tiles anywhere you want. Um, you could go ahead and edit a tile. So if you hold on it. There's a little edit button right there, and there's a delete button right there. That's um, to unpin the tile from your overall home screen. So if you wanted to do that, you could. Now, I'm not going to do that, but I'm going to edit this tile. So if I hit on that edit button, it's um, I have it set to my browser, and I renamed it to Chrome. You can rename it to whatever you want. You can re rename it to Internet. You can rename it to whatever. I don't know. You can name it to... Uh, let me see... Chrome or I'll say browser or you know I don't know IDK <laughs> anything you want you can name it which is really cool I really like about that so I'm not gonna name it well it's already named now alright so and if you don't want it to be in your browser if you don't want it, the application that title to be your browser you can go ahead and change that application I'm not gonna do that right now because honestly it takes forever for it to load up my, I have a bunch of applications so it's gonna take forever to load up all my applications but what happens is that you would click on that um, change application and you could change it to whatever applications you want it could be Facebook um, Twitter aim anything you want it could be that application also you have the option to change the color of the tile so right now I have it to the cyan uh, blue color or you can use it if your theme already has like a, uh, a green or orange tile theme you can use that so if you do change the color and don't feel like going if you don't you know if you if your color is let's say let me go over here and do this purplish pink and right so let's say if you do that and and your uh, overall tiles on your home screen is green and you want to use your green color you just select the use theme color and it will change your um, tile color back to the default or your selected um uh, themes color like that all right so uh, another cool thing about this is you could change the the look of the icon so you could do a custom icon or application icon which is really cool so custom icon will look like Windows 7 animation icon will be I mean application icon will be the default applications icon so the, the default um, icon that came with that application it will look like that um, another cool thing is that the current applications uh, uh, icon or the, the, the bitmap for it you can actually change so right now the internet uh, browsers icon is set to Chrome, which looks like the Google Chrome in a monotone black and white, and it's all set at PNG. They don't give you the set size or dimensions of each icon, so you can't go ahead and create one. But if you do have um, images on your phone, you can go ahead and select images from your SD card, and you can change that Chrome icon to anything in your gallery. So I'm gonna go ahead in my gallery, and I'm gonna check like I'm gonna check off. Uh, a wallpaper so here's my backgrounds and I actually have a tiger and something uh, some other type of abstract background thing and so I chose that background so here it is there it is my background and um, the tile options you have the option to give your tile some options um, 
right now set to nothing or you could do full tile full tile um it's a whole bunch of different um options you could do and once you're done you want to hit modify the tile notice that there is a advertisement at the bottom because this is a free version the pro version doesn't have the advertisement so if you do like this application please go ahead and buy it i'm not sure how much it is right now offhand but you know yeah so as you can see i changed the icon but it's you see the idk i don't know so the icon is a bit small um, so if you want, you can go ahead and change that back to stock. If you want, just go ahead and hit that edit icon. Edit. And, uh, change that back to Chrome. Alright, Chrome. Okay, Chrome right there. It's done. And, uh, change back to theme color and change the bitmap icon to chrome and once I'm done I can go ahead and select modify tile once I go back there's my chrome icon tile which is cool now another thing I want to show you guys is the features the, the animation features that come with this Windows 7 launcher so once you hit that uh, a tile it kind of fades in into <laughs> how ironic is that this is one of my screenshots um yeah so this is some of the screenshots on my phone it, it took me to my gallery um so that's some of the features um when you when you um go back to home it shows that fade in animation in the fade in the fade out and the fade in animations and you go ahead and change that by going to the menu option and select that windows 7 or 7 launcher 7 settings excuse me and go to animation options once you're on animation options I already have it to fade animation um, fade animation is pretty cool but the fly animation is you know even cooler um, and then you have a whole list of options down here um, the bouncy scrolling is kinda cool too so I might enable that and go to previous settings um, now you do have the option to lock the tile layout so if you don't want to customize anything you can go ahead and lock it and you know keep that layout style the system wallpaper now if you guys notice I had a wallpaper on that Windows 7 thing you can actually leave it to black white or system wallpaper so if you want to use black and leave it at black and um, this is the option where you get actually change the wallpaper um, the tile color this is when the tile the theme um, color option comes in hand um, if you have a certain color you can change that for the default tile color I showed you guys the animation options the status bar if you notice that status bar at the top will no longer be there once I enable the status bar options to remove it so as of right now it's set to hidden so once I go home that status bar is no longer there you get the whole Windows 7 experience on your phone which is really cool now the flyout option I want to go ahead and show you before I you know get off track once I select that uh, option on uh, my video option or widget it just flies out into whatever I chose it to and it's not supposed to go into my gallery so maybe I have to actually fix that um, but I know my music works so I'm gonna go ahead and select my music and it's gonna bring me up into my double twist music player so that's some of the cool things it flies in and flies out as you saw the um, animation um, so I'm gonna go back into my launcher setting and um, you can actually change the app draw which I don't really recommend because um, sometimes it's a little buggy um, now the backup and restore which is just complete cool backup and restore it happens so quickly if you want to back up your theme and all the icons and and um, the default settings and stuff that you have you can select backup current layout and then you could give it a name and I'll just call it um, anything I'll just put in anything and press OK and that's it you know no progress bar no nothing the the theme is backed up and if you want to restore that theme just hit on restore and here's a list of my themes I've backed up which is just example themes and I want to choose CMYK or green or whatever it will automatically load those themes so I have it set to green so if I do green 
you know, it does no animation, no, no, uh, progress bar, no nothing. So once I hit that home button, uh, it gives me my default, um, application icons and all the other stuff that I had before I went to my CMYK theme I chose. So the market, contacts, all that stuff wasn't there before because I did not cho choose them. But when I go back into restore, it goes into, um, I'm going to go into restore and go the one I just chose hit that button and only thing I found wrong is that if you have a certain icon color style it doesn't keep it for some weird reason but as you can see I did choose the black background and everything like that and the wallpaper that you saw before is gone but uh, the icon colors are no longer there so if you do want to go ahead and edit those again and use theme color and press uh, modify that style it'll go back to the, the default um, color of your theme that you chose in the um, option menu now I, I, I went through all that stuff now I want to show you guys how to actually add more icons to your your, your um, home screen so if you hit that menu button click on add widget it's gonna bring you up a list of things you can add to your home screen so here's a list of things that I have and um, not sure what I'll use. I'll probably say daily news or um, end gadget, maybe Facebook. Got some HSN over there. Uh, so let's say I chose an MIUI digital clock. And um, there's some settings, whatever, whatever, whatever. Press OK. And here's some of the options you might you might want to choose. Now it's set to be at a one by one tile which is that small square I'm gonna set it as a 2 by one which is takes up the whole end of the screen and tile background you can choose it to be the theme color which is the blue or I want it to be transparent and full tile widget this all depends on how big the widget is gonna be anyway so you can leave that unchecked or you can leave it checked you can always go back and change that and go ahead and create tile and as you can see it doesn't look like any ch anything changed but when I scroll up I'll scroll down there's my widget my clock so if I want to move this to the very top just move it to the very top just like that and everything should scroll down accordingly oops I didn't uh, oops no I don't want that one okay all right there we go sorry guys all right so I'm going on to 13 minutes now, but I want to show you guys how this looks. Alright, cool. Now, now that I have that set there, there's my clock, my time, and it's Friday. So, this is the really cool um, Windows 7 launcher, um, free for Android market, on the Android market. You guys can check out the download link in the video description of my website. Uh, for more information on uh, wallpapers, reviews, how to support requests, custom requests or anything, just please visit cmykarts.com slash android and select any of those options that you see there and I'll see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, subscribe and always be creative. Peace.